Good day. Today we will tell you how activity size setting works. Activity sizes can be set on two levels. The first level is the number of columns at the dashboard level. Second level, the number of columns at the activity level. The first level takes precedence over the second. If we set two columns at the dashboard level and we want to put three columns at the activity level, nothing will happen, as the maximum allowable volume on this dashboard is two. What do the two columns at the dashboard level mean? If we draw a conditional line in the middle of our application screen, we will divide it into two equal parts. These will be our two columns. Now, if we take the size of one activity and reduce its size to one column, it will decrease by two sizes because the size of the dashboard is two columns and the size of the activity is one or half of the dashboard. Let's put three columns on the dashboard. Now, our dashboard is conveniently divided into three equal parts. As the cars activity has a size of two columns, it has slightly decreased in size and a third column has been added next to it. If we take the body art activity and reduce its size to one column, it will move up and occupy the vacant cell in the third column of our dashboard. We now have a three column dashboard. It has a cars activity in two columns and a body art activity in one column, making a total of three. Now let's go inside the cars activity. As you can see, the size of the dashboard is two columns. Two activities are placed here. Each of them is one column in size. Therefore, one column BMW plus one column Mercedes fits nicely in the dashboard's two columns. If we increase the size of the BMW activity to two columns, it will stretch to the screen's full width and occupy two columns and Mercedes' activity drops below and continues to occupy its one column. The same goes for the size of the group title. Our two activities, cars and body art, are part of the list group. Let's display the group name on dashboard. Group title occupies one column and fits nicely into it. But if we increase the font size, you can see that the group title will move below because it needs to fit in its one column. If we want to stretch the group title in one row with this font size, we just need to add a column to it. Now title fits nicely in two columns. It even has room for additional text. That's all I wanted to tell you about the size settings for the activity group and group titles. Thank you for your attention.